We've talked here about the people who are truly alone in this, sticking close to home for health reasons without many, if any, other people around. Mental health advocates are trying to help people fight loneliness and isolation by connecting pure strangers. Here's Anusha Roy. Our staff members talked to a woman in her 70s. Um, she lives alone. Um, she's someone who's typically very active. She goes to the rec and the library regularly, and the closure of all of her social activities has made her feel isolated and lonely. The idea is simple enough. This woman was incredibly kind on the phone, and she really just wanted someone to talk to. One of the most fundamental things a lot of us do for our mental health is talk to each other. But all of a sudden, the pandemic started robbing us of those moments. You replicate what used to be the kind of conversation you'd have walking down your block. So Mental Health Colorado launched the program called In This Together last week. You can sign up on their website and within two days, the staff will schedule a 30 minute call either with them or one of the 80 volunteers. At first, they weren't sure who would want to chat with a stranger. I took a call recently um, from someone who just recovered from surgery, but realized Coloradans were ready to hear a friendly voice. She just needed someone to listen to her. This isn't for an emergency or clinical help. It is for some good old fashioned conversation conversation that might be harder to come by these days. Like it could literally be, hi, how was your day? This happened to me at the grocery store. Exactly, exactly that. Yeah, what kind of lines do you have at your grocery store? It's a simple idea addressing a serious issue. The American Psychological Association said loneliness and isolation can impact depression, sleep quality, cardiovascular health, even immunity. And the longer it goes on, the more the risk goes up. And if a simple phone call can help and you didn't know who to call, there's someone there to pick up. The people answering those calls don't necessarily have training in behavioral health because, again, this is not for an emergency. If that is the case, remember, the Colorado Crisis Services is available 24-7. Call your provider, and Kyle, of course, 911 and emergency rooms are always an option during a crisis. Seems like a simple question, Nusha. Who is this for? Yeah, I mean, the way that they have designed it is that it could be helpful for someone who's maybe younger living in rural Colorado to somebody in a nursing home, even new parents who just need somebody to talk to. They want this to be as accessible as possible, Kyle. All right. That's really interesting. Anybody who just needs to connect. Thank you, Anusha. <laughs>